up, guys? This is Perrin from Gadget Spot, and today we're taking a look at my password at Google Fit. Yeah, Google Fit was put in the Play Store today and updated if you're already running the L Developer Preview like I am. So let's go ahead and take a look. Diving straight into it, uh, you get a big dial in the front showing your activity for the day. Uh, be aware that once you do update, it wipes all previous data uh, for that day. Um, and it still shows me my data from previous days, but it wipes all data from today. So I went bike riding this morning, and that's not showing up here. So it'll show your steps as well as biking and running. We can go over here, and, and it actually tracks it by time as well. I've already put in my height and weight, so it goes ahead and gives me an average for my body type, I guess. So you'll see this up here changes based on activity. I'm sure other items would show up up here uh, as you switched between activity type. So we'll go ahead, I'll show you its steps right here, and then like I said, it shows your average, and then you've got time and then average time down here. And then right here we see a breakdown of what you did today. So it'll group together the larger times, I'm assuming that's over five minutes, because anything smaller shows up as a short activity. So I had one minute of walking, two minutes of walking, less than a minute of walking, and that shows up as smaller times that are by default hidden, whereas you'll see the large activities show up by default here. And right below that is a graph, and you can actually see activity by activity type and by time. So you see walking is orange, running is purple, and biking is this greenish teal color. And then this button is for showing all. Uh, you can do it by day, but active time or steps, and I'm sure um, it would also allow for some other measure of biking and running uh, if I had that in there. So you'll see down here, I actually have data for previous days, um, and you'll see it actually measures, you know, by time, by steps taken. Uh, again, when you tap into one of these, it does group it by large time, and then you can show the short activities as well as a graph. So we'll head back up to the top here. Right up here in the top menu, you get your add activity, which will actually allow you to manually add an activity, whether it be walking, riding, or running. Uh, unfortunately, nothing else like swimming or lifting are in there. So you do have add your weight. So they do want you to add in your weight every day, I assume, uh, because it also allows you to um, add in a date and time with your weight. So and then right up here, we've also got settings for the app, help and feedback, and upload database. And I'm not sure what that does, although I have to feel like it's doing something with uploading to the database. That's it so far. We haven't really found many widgets. This does update the app on your Android Wear device, just in case you're wondering. It will also wipe any Google Fit data that you have on there. So any previous steps from the week that you've had, it will get rid of that. And it will replace it with all of the data you have in the app. So if I've had this phone on me in my pocket for the past couple of days, inadvertently tracking. And so my Android Wear device actually shows the data from this phone, not the data from my watch. So just a thing to be aware of. Um, like I said, we're checking out the Google Fit app here at GadgetSpot. Spot.